Welcome back to Educator.com. What I want to talk about now is CSS, which stands for Cascading Style Sheets. And I want to show you specifically the importance of using CSS within your website. It is the standard for formatting and positioning for all web pages nowadays. And if you're going to use Dreamweaver, it gets very difficult to work in CSS if you don't understand any part of it. What I have open is a predefined layout page that was created earlier. And every one of these items in the CSS styles panel is a rule. And you can see there's a lot of rules available right here. So when we're creating and working in our rules, that is what is actually positioning and formatting our page content. So I want to take you out into the browser and show you a couple of things. So let's move out to, I'll use Firefox in this example, because Firefox has a feature that allows me to show this to you a little bit easier. And I'm at CSS Zen Garden. Now CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. And there's a reason why the word cascading is added in front of style sheets. But when we're looking at what CSS is, how do we figure that out? Well, let's do a perfect example. This is a website that was created to create designs using the exact same HTML content. And people could come in and submit to this site and add their own CSS to it. In other words, everybody can take the same content and make it look very different. So take a look. This is the main page, but I could make that content look like this. And notice when it looks like this, the lower part of the page is fixed. It doesn't change. That's a very interesting look. Or I could make it look like this. Completely different layouts of these pages based on the CSS style rules. And CSS is even pulling in the images and placing them on the page. Now there's another interesting one that is on this first page, and that is this one. It's similar to that other one we looked at, but this is a movie theater. And notice how only the content that looks like it's inside our stage or the theater area is scrolling. So there are some interesting effects you can create using CSS. The idea is, the exact same page content is being used by all of these. That's a little bit difficult on this one to get to other content, but what I want to show you is this is the HTML without CSS. This is the HTML with CSS, or it can look any one of these different ways. And this is an interesting website to take a look at. Now this is a single page website, so some of these designs are done a little bit different than you would for an entire website. But let's go out to a couple of other websites and turn off the CSS and see what happens. So I'm going to open up the educator.com website. And within Firefox, I have this web developer toolbar extension I added. I can click this button and I can go over to the CSS area and simply disable all the CSS on the page and watch what happens. We are back to basic HTML days. You can see the entire page layout changes. That's how much of an impact CSS has on web pages nowadays. And if you're going to use this toolbar, if you turn something off, make sure you turn it back on. So I will turn on the CSS. It instantly converts to a very nice web page. If I go over to the Adobe website, I can do the same thing. So you can explore websites and take a look at what they look like without CSS. And you will see on every website, they're substantially different. So here's our image for the Adobe website, at least as of today. But look at the rest of the page. Pure HTML. It's lists, it's hyperlinks, and it's text. That is it. So that was actually what HTML was designed to do, is display this way. 
and the web took off. All of a sudden we had to do fancy things and CSS came into play to assist us. I put that page back together by turning on the CSS interpreter and we instantly have a much nicer looking page. So that is the power of CSS on the web. Every web page you're looking at is using CSS at this point. So if you're going to start working with web pages, you need to do the same. And I'm going to assist you in understanding CSS a little bit. Even though we're using Dreamweaver, you still do need to have a basic understanding of the concept in order to know how to create your pages. But that is the power of CSS and a few examples of turning CSS on and off in your browser. And you can see the huge difference it makes in the web page. So that is taking a look at CSS and its power within a browser.